Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we've got some pretty exciting news for my fellow global players out there. And honestly, this was something that I completely missed in my last video when I was talking about the uh, Dual Dokkan Fest, GT Goku, and DT Vegeta, you know, going through their animations, what they do, all that stuff. In case you guys missed it and you want to see, you know, what that's all about, then definitely go check it out through the link above my head over there. But uh, right now, the focus is on this global news. First things first, we've got a new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history on the way. Stage 13, which is going to be a brand new stage for both sides, actually. So JP's obviously going to get it as well. And we don't know exactly what the theme's going to be, but I'm assuming it'll be either GT Heroes or GT Bosses. More likely GT Heroes, actually. So, you know, characters like Goku, Vegeta... Uh, Goten, Gohan, Trunks, and a few others. That's what I'm thinking it's gonna be. And then maybe later on for stage 14, we'll get the uh, other one, GT Bosses, right? So uh, look forward to that. That's pretty exciting. Always fun to have these new Infinite Dragon Ball History stages. But the much more exciting news to me is the second thing, which is Extreme Super Battle Road. Global is finally going to be getting stages 11 to 20, the category ESBR stages. And uh, there's also going to be a new LR Extreme Z Awakening along with it on Global. The STR, or sorry, no, he's it. The INT Super Battle Road LR Goku is going to be getting his Extreme Z Awakening. So I can't wait for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So the preparation period is going to be the 26th to the 27th, which is obviously today to tomorrow. And then I'm assuming that on the 28th is when all of this is uh, this stuff is going to drop, when the GT Golden Week celebration for both sides is going to start, which is still pretty crazy to me. I know I've said that so many times, but I don't know, man. It's just it, I didn't expect this, you know? Like, I'm still kind of shocked that uh, we're both getting this Dual Dokkan Fest that Global normally gets in November. And it's a huge win. I'm super happy about it. It's just uh, going to take some time to, to fully process that this is actually happening. But anyways, we're getting the Extreme Super Battle Road stages. And let's just quickly take a look at what they look like, right? Like what the uh, actual categories are. So starting with stage 11, it's going to be super class only. Stage 12 is extreme class only. Stage 13 is Fusions, Stage 14 is Shadow Dragon Saga, Stage 15, Peppy Gals, Stage 16, Hybrid Saiyans, Stage 17, Resurrected Warriors, 18 is Realm of Gods, 19 is Majin Buu Saga, and 20 is Patara. So, I'm not sure like how well it lines up with like the regular Super Battle Road stages, but it seems like it's a lot of the same ones for like the first like original uh, Super Battle Road category stages. I could be wrong, but either way, uh, I'm stoked, guys, because obviously when we're, whenever we get these new stages, it's uh, it's a new challenge. It's something that we can actually, uh, you know, do for a while. And if you're a global main, if you've been playing global for a while, you know that, like, we've been struggling for content over the past couple of weeks. So I can't wait to do a bunch of streams for this, a bunch of videos for you guys, maybe a couple guides. We'll see. But uh, those are, yeah, the 10 upcoming stages along with the uh, Infinite Dragon Ball history. Now, I think there's at least one or two others we're still missing from JP. But those ones will come later, obviously, with other uh, celebrations. And before we go, let's quickly check out this Int Goku Easy A just to, you know, uh, let you guys know what he does, right? What the Easy A, whether he's worth it, whether he's worth the grind. Obviously, I still think, like, even if you don't care about this guy, it's still worth it to get the Extreme Super Battle Road stages done for the other rewards. But uh, yeah, this Goku. We're going to start with his pre-EZA details and then talk about his Extreme Z Awakened details to compare the two. Starting with the leader skill, it's all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, colossal damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy, and then uh, ultra super or 18 key super is Mega Colossal Damage and raises Super Class Allies attack by 30% for one turn. Passive Super Attack, uh, sorry, Super Class Allies key plus two. Attack and defense plus 30%. Medium chance to evade enemies' attacks, including Super Attack. 
and then Superclass Allies, Attack and Defense plus 20% in addition when HP is 50% or below. So that's what he does before the EZA. Now after the EZA, once you've done all the new uh, Extreme Super Battle Road stages, he gets Leader Skill, all types, key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%. So the same Leader Skill as the uh, EZA Super Battle Road Gohan. And then Super Attack, 12 key, Colossal Damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy compared to a rare chance. So it's from 10%, oh sorry, 20% uh, before up to 30% uh, now. And then Super Attack, or sorry, Ultra Super Attack. I don't know why I'm getting everything mixed up right now. Uh, Ultra Super Attack, Mega Colossal Damage, raises Super Class Allies Attack and Defense by 30% for one turn. And then passive is attack and defense plus 59%. Super class allies key plus 2. Attack and defense plus 30%. And then medium chance of evading enemies attack including super attack. Super class allies attack and defense plus 20% in addition when HP is 59% or less. And then key plus 3 and chance of performing a critical hit plus 59% when there is an ally whose name includes Gohan Kid attacking in the same turn. So for anybody that uh, rainbowed this guy already and for some reason gave him crits over additionals, uh, that might have been a bit of a mistake because obviously when you have that kid Gohan on rotation, he's getting crits more often than he's not. So the way I would build him obviously is to give him more additionals over crits. But then again, um, you know, you're not going to always have that kid Gohan on the team. So Maybe it's not a bad idea to kind of like balance it a little bit just for those instances where, you know, you don't have him. But at the same time, you know, he's not like a primary damage dealer or anything like that. Even though with the EZA, he does do some decent damage. Like he's not, you know, soft or uh, that's not the right term. He's not like weak <laughs> by any means, right? But uh, he's still mainly a support in my eyes. And uh, yeah, the EZA is great. Um, obviously attack and defense plus 30% for the rotation if you put him in the first slot would be nice But the problem is you're most likely gonna have him in the third slot So your rotation's not really gonna be benefiting from that in that case, right? But uh, yeah, that's the easy eight for the int Goku. I think he's great. I really do and uh, The only issue is not everyone's gonna be able to clear all the missions to get all the medals for uh, for this easy eight, right, but um if you can't, honestly, it's not a huge deal. I think it's actually a good thing because it gives you something to uh, work your way towards, right? Like eventually you'll be able to. Right now, if it's a struggle, it's just part of the journey. So enjoy it. Like I always say this, man, my most enjoyable time with this game is when I was struggling. You know, when I was like having a hard time beating Dokkan events because it made me feel super accomplished when I actually beat them. And now it's like, most events are kind of a breeze, and it's just not really as rewarding. But yeah, anyways, I'm getting on a tangent. Let's uh, save that for a different video. Uh, for now, we got the Goku EZ on the way. We got the 10 new Super Battle Road Extreme Super Battle Road stages. Obviously, along with uh, more skill orbs, more of these. What are they called? Uh, battle Mastery Gems, I guess. And then also we get uh, one stone, obviously per stage, and then seven stones for each uh, stage. We it's Seven stones for each stage, right? You can claim two of these and seven from the missions, as well as skill orbs once per stage. Additional one stone is rewarded upon the first one of a stage. So yeah, I, I think it's gonna be eight stones in total for each stage, 10 stages. So that's 80 stones? Am I reading that correctly? I think it's 80 stones, guys, if you clear all of them. That's a lot of stones. Unless I'm making a mistake. If I am, just ignore me. Okay, that's my bad. But from what, I, what I'm what i reading, it looks like seven stones per mission. Uh, yeah, seven stones per mission. And then we get these amazing skill orbs like the crit and attack, combo attack and HP. And then, uh, yeah, to get these medals, uh, you get five for clearing uh, any 10 stage, or any stage 10 times, sorry. So if you want to do like one stage 10 times, you can still get these five medals. And then you get 10 more medals for clearing 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. 10 more medals for 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. And then you clear all stages for 20 more for a total of 45, which is uh, all the medals you need to fully easy the Goku, right? 
And, uh, oh, real quick, real quick, we have the Battle Mastery Shop. You can buy some stickers, you can buy some extra character slots. Uh, max Stamina, I think, is definitely the best investment for, uh, you know, for your Battle Mastery. That's what it's called, right? The Battle Mastery. And then you can buy some Kai's. And also Diamond Herco statues, which if you're desperate for Zenny, I guess you could go for, but I don't really think it's worth it. But uh, anyways, guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm I'm stoked. I'm stoked. This celebration is looking better and better. I mean, just the fact we were getting the Dual Dokkan Fest was already like super, super hyped to me. And then now we're getting the new Extreme Super Battle stages, new Infinite Dragon Ball history. It's gonna be good. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. I hope you guys are stoked as well, and uh, look forward to a bunch of videos, streams, all that stuff coming up for this celebration for sure. And that's all I gotta say, man. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.